Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some keychains. I'm going to show you an easy how to, how to make a little wooden keychain. You could do it acrylic if you want, but we're going to do wood this time. Alright, first thing we want to do is grab the text tool, type in a name. Um, I see I'm already set to brush script. Everybody has that. Simple, easy to use. Um, choose the font you want. Mess around, play around with them but it doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and just use my name. That's simple. Go ahead and hit the select tool. There's the name. All we're gonna do is um, go to offset. We'll do about a five or six offset, depending on what you're looking for. We'll do a six for this one. Hit okay. We'll go ahead and click the offset here on the left. Choose how, what the distance is you want. You can use five, six, just choose whatever you would like. I mean, there's no right or wrong, just depending on what style you're looking for. I'll go ahead and use a five. Now I see the five leaves these two artifacts in here. We'll go ahead and remove those. We're gonna use outward and round. We'll take the outer layer, which is gonna be our cut layer. We'll go ahead and change it to the zero layer line. We'll ungroup it. And I'm going to remove those two artifacts. That simple. This is what we're going to look at. Outside layer, inside will be filled. Hit OK. We'll go ahead and add a ring. Uh, good ring size is four millimeters, three millimeters. Um, I like four personally. And you have choices here. With a four millimeter, you could either put it inside, or if you would like to add it to the outside, go ahead and make it an eight millimeter. Position it where you want. Select the outer offset area, and we're going to go ahead and weld them. Now we'll go ahead and take another circle, make the four millimeter, and we're just going to drop it inside there. There you have it. Simple key ring. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and resize it to what size you think you want. I'm going to do about 110 millimeter. And we're ready to set the, we'll go ahead and set the speed and power. And we're good to cut it. Um, while we have this here, let's go ahead and do something else. Let's say, we're just going to copy that, paste it. I'm going to get rid of the outer layer. So we just have the script. Let's say you want to add an image to it. Um, pick an image. Let me just look at my art gallery. We'll take the Owl 2. Shrink that down some. We'll just go ahead and align bottom. We'll move the Owl in a little closer. Owl does look a little small for that. Let's go ahead and do this. Make the owl a little bigger. We'll go ahead and align it center. Highlight them both. Go to offset. You can play around with the offset settings. I don't need too big, but I do want it to connect these two areas. So I'm going to go with about four. 
Hit OK. I'm going to take the outer layer for the offset again. I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to remove those few artifacts that it made. They are not needed. We'll go ahead and take the owl, make him a fill layer. We'll do a ring. We'll put the ring right here. Eight millimeter. We'll bring it in. Make it a cut layer. Grab the outer. Weld it together. Grab another ring. Make it four millimeter. And we'll insert it right there. There you have it. Two easy, customizable wooden key rings. Like I said, you can use acrylic if you want, but I'm going to use wood. Um, looking at this, if you want to do something totally different, you could go ahead and take this, either one of them. We'll go ahead and take this one, copy it, paste it, separate the two. You could cut that out and then cut this out and glue it on top. Probably want to stain or paint the background so they're two different colors. Put it on top and then you have a beveled keychain. We'll go ahead and update the overlay. Place these all in position. All right, one thing I did notice I forgot is to change this one layer to a cut layer. So we'll go ahead and highlight it, bring it to layer zero, zero, make it a cut layer. Everything looks right. We'll go ahead and start the project and I'll show you the results when it's done. Here are the final results. I hope you found this tutorial pretty easy to follow. Please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Until next time.